get to kind of analyze Cloud a little bit more right. here because we have the other DFW Cloud player here in Euroloki. Which is actually a treat. We haven't seen Euroloki come out in a while. He's been... Uh, yeah, and he's been... Stuff. I'm sorry, I completely interrupted you and then I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> no but... Yeah, Euroloki, um, for anyone who has not been with us for the past like year or so, Euroloki was our best Cloud player for a decent period of time. Whenever Dempy was, like, was on more of his hiatus, Euroloki was the one who... Uh, who was like at the forefront of the the characters meta in DFW? Mm -hmm. And so, I, I I don't remember too much about particularly the way of, that the way he plays, but I do remember one thing in particular uh, that I know Neighbor and Sand touched on earlier, which is that Hero Loki's movement is so incredibly crisp. Oh, yeah. it's very very crisp. You know, as we saw the perfect pivot on tilt there, <laughs> the, he is definitely ready to scoop in. He's a ladder. Oh, definitely a ladder. And I think which is like. Um, not to say that Denti isn't a ladder, because Denti does like put well, Den Denti's a grinder. <laughs> I would say. Uh -huh, yeah. he, he plays a lot. Whenever he was on it, like whenever he was playing like professionally, he played the game an absurdly large amount of time. Yeah. But yeah, you're a lucky person who is more so like go into training mode by himself and just work out all the different things he can do. So a little bit more elaborate in the gameplay sometimes. Um, whether or not that elaboration comes out to, you know, um, efficient elaboration or just yeah. you know, playing <laughs> playing flashy is like kind of the uh, the difficulty of being a lab monster. On top of that, um, on the antithesis of that, though, and especially in the way that your Loki plays, is that his combo game, not very elaborate. I mean, you can see he's got Austin at about even percents with him, but Austin's been chaining together big combos, big hits. Your Loki's just been jabbing at him and hitting him with this and that, but nothing massive all right. at once. All right, yeah. And of course, Austin doesn't need massive all at once when he has a back row. I mean, that nope. is his massive all at once. Yeah, but. it's <laughs> kind of a, not really. I feel like all at once. You know, it's just a, it's a kind of a, a slow thing. You get grabbed. You're like, yeah, oh, crap. Yeah, that's real. There we go. I go spin, and then I'm gone. Even center stage, there's nothing he can do about that. And right now, your Loki's just trying to focus on taking the stock here. Mm -hmm. 145 percent. Austin is gonna have to play kind of careful. Excellent re on the air dodge there with the back air setup. Your Loki, your Loki back yeah. yeah, your Loki's played Austin before, and he. One thing that hasn't changed about Austin is a lot of his recovery habits. That's true. And I think one of the big things is that any time that Austin recovers without using his up B, uh, unless he's going straight to the ledge with it, he will almost invariably air dodge at some point. All right, yeah. Oh, that's that two it. Frame with the down smash. Oh, he's going to be it. Nope. The, 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 I think he wasn't actually going to. I think he was just barely not going to reach it before that. No. Nah. He was. Uh, he was not going to reach it. But Austin. I appreciate it. the uh, the making sure. <laughs> no, yeah. Part. You definitely don't want to you know, take any chances. Magnet hands in this game are absurd on a lot of characters. So. Mm -hmm. Cloud, yeah. not one of them. Cloud, not one of them. He does not been. Yeah, Austin just kind of goes through these phases where sometimes he really loves to use the down air and sometimes he doesn't. He's in a down air phase oh, yes. right now. Definitely. Definitely. So uh, he's attempted down air phase. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, game two, going to Omega Midgar, which is legal. Right, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think this is definitely good because Ness does not like FD. I think particularly he has a very hard time uh, landing and setting up his combos on FD. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas here, Loki can just kind of cover the air with his big hitbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, getting through neutral airs, through up airs like this. Um, Ness is... Very slippery in the air, but there's only so much that slippery can get you. Especially without platforms and places to go to. Now, we talked about how Denti doesn't like to hold on to his limit. If Denti is afraid of his limit, your Loki has a clinical phobia <laughs> of limit. <laughs> because I have not seen him hold on to limit at all. Right, he's been throwing it very, very, uh, very often, very liberally. Mm -hmm. Oh, just letting Austin chase him out of center stage. I don't know how I feel about that one. Yeah, the, I think I'm on the percent lead right now, though. You're looking at a good 50%, 60% below Austin. Um, the defensive play overall. Uh, nope. uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. In, in. I, so, in vulnerability on the side B, maybe? I don't know I, why that happened. <laughs> that what really I actually weird. like about the side B was that if he used the up B... Austin, you can't just do these things. Austin will do it's whatever It's not he okay. Uses. You um, can't just do that. That's why I'm glad that I can play Game & Watch against Austin, because he can <laughs> never do that to me. Um, 
But the thing I was going to say about Yuriloki is that uh, when he did that side B, if he did the up B, he didn't know exactly where he was in relation to the ledge. Uh -huh. So if he had done an up B, he ran the risk of possibly going past the ledge and putting himself in a bad position. Definitely. Whereas uh, if he does that cross slash, which he did, he puts himself right on the ledge with that little invulnerability. That does oh it! My Are you God. kidding me? That combo from Yuriloki. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord! That, that's a I want to see that again. I mean, we need to see that again. For, for the think of the people, M. You need to think of the people. Look at this. So oh, no, no, that, that's that wasn't even a thing. combo. That was the entire combo. We need more. That was. We need to go so back further. Gross. This is disgusting. <laughs> How's it we'll get the replay after this game. So game three, we're on Smashville, which is um, that's a bit scary for Cloud against Ness. Right. Yeah. I mean, that platform an ever present threat uh, anytime. Like it, it's like. Again, a double-edged sword because like Cloud can kind of hang out on the platform and be like, ah, I'm just going blue, you can't stop me. But uh, Ness, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he does actually put hands on you whenever you're on that platform. Uh, times get pretty, get pretty, uh, pretty horrifying out there. Austin's going to go for it, and you're uh, Loki. Oh, he went for super style and killed himself. Yeah, <laughs> the he's, player he's, he's laughing. He knows, he knows <laughs> it was a bad idea. I really like to see. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I love your Loki so much. Is he's just such a great guy, a great personality. Yeah. Austin is as well. But I mean, I've kind uh, of missed the what your Loki brings to the table. Oh my goodness, Austin! Uh, 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 Austin ending the Austin. match faster than the words can fall out of my mouth. They're gone. They're gone. They're just. They're gone. <laughs> it's two chairs. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're just, they're <laughs> Austin just grabbed him like, sir, we, we, we got to go. We're going to the shadow realm. Come on. They picked him up and just, <laughs> just ran. Just disappeared, Jesus! My good lord! We like should, we need that started that out like that set started like game one was pretty tame, game two ended <laughs> like incredibly, and right. then game three was just like it, it's over. Uh, yeah, what happened? Like, yeah, it's like, just gone. Yeah, cat like jumped up on your computer screen and you <laughs> buffers get down. You look up and there's just two chairs. <laughs> <laughs> they disappeared. It's magic. While you were deleting that message, you were typing into the Twitch chat. Yeah, it's... the game ended. Sorry. I mean, I imagine that somebody Twitch clipped that last game three because it oh almost God, yeah. was short enough to fit into one Twitch clip. Oh, it'd be pretty close, yeah. It's like pretty 44 close. seconds or something like that around there. Ouch. Yeah. Austin has been more brutal and more efficient <laughs> in his time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's done uh, 24 seconds, I think. I think so. I think that's the record. Somewhere. Because somewhere. It, was, it was a Ness Ditto, and he did a kite block, and then he... PSI magneted the other upbeat. Mm -hmm. And he just did the same thing two times. It was a down throw or a forward throw, and then a bunch of forward errors caught his jump and made him use the upbeat.